What's up, guys? So I have the second part of the American malls versus Philippine malls coming up. But in the meantime, in the spirit of talking about traveling, I wanted to mention something that I've been often asked by folks, uh, especially the people I used to work with and some of the offices that I worked in, as well as um, by some friends and family. They always wonder how I had the... Um, money to travel and I've even had a previous video where I've mentioned that I had a high income earning family member actually asking me for money just because they assumed since I was traveling I must have had a lot of disposable cash which I didn't I'm just not as stupid as they are with their money so when I have people from my office asking me it's legitimate because, you know, we work in the same janky office, so they know I'm not making significantly much more than uh, they are. In fact, they were probably making more than me, at least in in salary, because, uh, you know, I work with some uh, fucked up supervisors who would hire people um, who and then pay them more than me, although I'm, you know, they're, they're senior in the office but I ended up making more than them in commission since I was doing sales so c'est la vie but um yeah they would ask me how am I traveling <laughs> and I remember this one girl this wasn't about traveling but this was about being responsible and it's going to lead into the first question uh, I remember this was about seven years ago and I was about 35, 36, maybe at the time. And she asked me, like, sincerely, she just sincerely asked me, um, after knowing what my age was, how did I not have any kids? And I'm looking at her like, condoms? <laughs> I mean, what? Like, it, I, mind you guys, I'm in Baltimore, so... I'm not dealing with the brightest nor the classiest people, but she was she was a nice person at least in the office. She was a sweet person. She she was a little ratchet, but she was pretty nice. And it was just funny that she sincerely asked me how I was able to not have kids in my thirties when there's like over three dozen forms of birth control on the market. So, go figure. Which goes into the whole point of how they ask how I'm able to travel and they're not. Number one, don't have bastard children. Or don't have children, period, but don't have bastard children. <laughs> they, are, they are a financial drain, literally. Well, not literally, but <clears throat> they are like, they are pro they are they're one of those proverbial money pits. Having children when you're not fiscally, you know, responsible yet. Two, don't get a car note. I didn't have a car, so I was more than happy to use public transportation and when I needed to Uber or Lyft to get to where I needed to go if it was an occasion that I didn't want to use public transportation. <clears throat> so, there you go. But I'm not saying no, don't have a car, but a car is a big expense. You know, because paired with, you know, gas, especially now, um, you know, your maintenance, stuff like that. And in these little janky jobs that I had, like I said, some of these people had cars and probably half the income was going to their car. It just doesn't make sense to me that, ha that like over that like maybe about half of your income is going to to your car. The rest of it is going to like car rent, mortgage. I would say number three, avoid having a mortgage. But almost all these people did not have mortgages. But for the folks here, whom I'm talking to. <laughs> In the, in the stream, if anyone is watching this other than my one loyal watcher, <laughs> uh, don't have a mortgage. Like, if you plan on traveling frequently, it probably doesn't make sense to have 
have a home that you're paying a mortgage on unless it was a unless it's a home that was given to you and you're just paying the back end of the mortgage that the other person previously started before they bequeathed the home to you. That's that's cool. But I wouldn't start a fresh 30 year uh, mortgage plan right now if you want to travel. Like once you have that house, like you're stuck with it. You're not going anywhere. Mind you, I do have a house and a mortgage, but it's over there, overseas, <laughs> not here, <clears throat> where I'm, where I would be stuck paying for it. Because I had a father who was supposed to come out with my mother. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry guys. So I had, um, you know, a father who was supposed to come out with my mother several years ago when I invited her to my place in the Philippines. And he couldn't come because he claimed that, you know, he had to pay off his mortgage or whatever. That might just have been bullshit. <clears throat> but um, he did live in a very expensive place. And he had more than one home. So could be true. Avoid that <laughs> if, if you can. So no car note, not having bastards when you're not able to take care of them fiscally without it breaking a bank. Avoiding a mortgage. Um, I mean, what else? Saving your money. Like I said, this the same janky office where these guys were spending half their income on cars, <clears throat> on their little bastard kids, because none of, as far as I know, almost none of them were married in the office except for like the managers and supervisors, and even they were cheating on their on their wives. So, <clears throat> shout out to Rasani Media. But anyway. Did I say that? Uh, something in my throat. You heard me coughing earlier, right? So, a little phlegm. But, <laughs> in any case, um, they will come into the office, you know, wearing thousands of dollars of of clothing and jewelry. Jordans. Aside from the fact that that doesn't look professional, let's push that aside. Let's just say it's Friday, okay? Casual Fridays. Um, you know, that thousand dollars worth of clothes and jewelry and stuff that you're wearing, that could have been a ticket. That could have been a, 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 that could have been a plane ticket somewhere. So you chose your battles. So when you ask me where I get the money from, I don't come to the office looking fly. I don't try to. Not that I don't have those clothes. It's just that I don't buy them to wear to the office. When I did buy those, they would be for special occasions. Like when I went to travel and I wanted to look nicely when I'm overseas. But I didn't just buy expensive brand name things just to impress other people who are also poor. That doesn't make sense to me. Buying expensive things to impress other poor people. But yeah, so you want to have money, don't waste it on... Uh, expensive brand name things that you're using to impress other people who are also broke. Use birth control if if you're gonna satisfy those urges. Don't have a car note or an expensive car that once it breaks down, like now you're in debt. Don't. Um, get enslaved to some 30 year mortgage that's going to keep you from going anywhere or doing anything, not only for traveling, but say you want to relocate in another part of the country that, that, you know, might be offering some better job opportunities. Now you're stuck. You're stuck until you can do something with that house. It's not a, it's not a smart move. This isn't the fifties. The, the house with the white picket fence is not the dream anymore. It's an, it's financial indebtedness, so you have to have a travel sense of mind, like, and that's which is funny because like I know people making thrice as much as me, but can't go anywhere because one either they have a job that doesn't allow them to travel, which is often the case, or like they make so much money, but. They spend that money as soon as it comes in. Like, yeah, you're making like 80000 or whatever thousand a year. 
but you also have you know a car note you have an expensive expensive house or an expensive apartment which is worse because you're not getting any equity out of that um you have kids you have expensive habits so if you want to know how to travel that's how like i said avoid having unnecessary kids don't get a don't be indebted to a car note or a mortgage don't waste money trying to look fly especially when you're trying to impress people that you don't even care about or shouldn't care about sorry i stranded that preposition at the end of the sentence but it sounds better <laughs> but yeah guys um so the second part of that that mole video is coming up in the philippines and if you if you like that it's going to be more like that i'll do more comparisons of here in the u.s versus overseas particularly in the philippines i have you know my special friends over there help me out with that but um yeah there's no secret to how I, I was making moves while while i was traveling like i said i wasn't indebted to things that a lot of people are indebted to here although i was making much less than some of the people who were questioning how i was able to move move around and travel so much it's what you put your money towards like i said the same cousin who asked me for money because they assumed I was making so much money because I was able to travel, makes over 100000 a year, but, but does dumb shit that keeps her in debt. So that's all I'll say about that. <laughs>